Oh, Sanmunan, Sanmunan, guys. Um, the power of words. The power of words. Uh, so I just come back from gym, and I was, oh, I was, I was, it's not eavesdropping, but I overheard um, these two guys having a session or rap dream, and like the one is struggling with the word, with the with the weights, and the other one says, "Yo, bro, don't be a bitch." Like fucking. And he's going into him, you know, and he says that he says that he says that, and Umchita ends up pushing through, you know, and they dab and all that shit, you know. Um, but it like I've been on <clears throat> this journey, for lack of a better word, um, uh, no pun intended, where I've been trying to mind my words. To select my words, um, I play a lot of rugby. I play a lot of touch rugby, and I've been told by a lot of different guys that I can be very toxic with my words. Um, I can be very bullying with my words, and for the most part, I used to say "fuck, fuck it." I I don't care, and then after a while, I was like, "Okay, let me mind what I say. Let me not come in so aggressive." Some guys aren't used to it. Some guys don't like it. Blah 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 blah. So I have been trying. And listening to these guys push themselves and, and how they spoke to each other, like it hit me, boom. Guys, words are, are so powerful. The delivery of the words are so powerful. For some, they might have needed a, come on, bro, you've got this. I know you can do it. Um, dig deep. Let's go. And some require that stop your bitching, bruh. Lift this fucking ass weight. Some guys require that. And even when you take it back to relationships, the power of words in relationships, you know, um, you'll have a, a girl playing with their boyfriend and saying something like, ah, oh, baby, don't be stupid. Ah, oh, baby, don't be stupid. That might seem like a nothing throwaway comment, you know, but that might be the beginning of something bigger. It starts, ah, oh, baby, don't be stupid. To, as it progresses to, don't be stupid. To, you being stupid. Stupid. It can progress and all of a sudden, it becomes this own, it becomes this fire. It becomes something that may initially not have been intended consciously. Maybe subconsciously, but it becomes something spiraling out of control. And you see it even within the sports space where all of a sudden I talk to you in a certain manner, which then might trigger a disrespect, you know. But at the same time, I was just trying to build you, you know. Um, or the other way, where I speak to you with so much respect, where you start taking advantage of it. You know, you see it in within our cultures as, as black people where... Um, you'll see a lady speaking to a, a guy and she'll be very respectful with a smile and very and that guy takes it as if she wants me or because she was humble she was respectful she spoke to him in a, in, in, in a respectful tone with a great energy and he took it the wrong way versus if she is just firm and then next day she's like ah, that girl she thinks she's full of herself just the words, just the tone, you know. So, like, I've been thinking about this and it's something that obviously I've been carrying from the rugby season to playing touch with the gents to now at gym listening to these guys saying, you know, because they were like, they were like saying hard things to each other. Oh, Jesus, you guys boys, like, what the hell? You know, because I'm trying to think, Guti, if I'm pushing you weight and this guy is busy swearing at me, hey, me, I might drop that weight down and, and just handle that quick, you know. But, like, Again, for them, it worked, you know. Um, I look at myself and I've realized which is certain people can have earned the license to actually push me in a certain way and certain people haven't, you know. Um, you see it in the workspace all the time where your line manager, you know, uses the wrong words to motivate you, you know, uses words like, um, I hope we didn't make the wrong decision by hiring you. That, 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 that might not motivate me. That, that might motivate me to go on LinkedIn and look for, for opportunities elsewhere. You know, Lapo, in his mind, 
or her mind, she might be like, by saying those words, I'm putting a little fire under their bum so that they can actually wake up. Nah, fam. You don't know the language in which you need to speak to them. You know, your words might be breaking them. Your words might be making them feel like shit. You know, um, I used to call a lot of guys fatties. Hey, fatty, hey, fatty. And I was saying it not necessarily from a point of uh, a negative, but it was a rugby term. I don't know if it still is a rugby term in the rugby circles where you call all the forward players fatties, you call all the backline players wimpies, you know, type of language. And then you start realizing with the people that aren't in that world take it personal because they don't understand the context. You know, because again, I could call a flank, like see, I call you, see, with all these muscles, I could be like, hey, fatty, you know, and that was the language, you know. So again, in certain spaces, they don't understand the language. They don't understand what motivation is for that, for, for your context. And then they come to rugby or they come to touch. And I say, hey, bruh, what the fuck you doing, bruh? Don't fuck around. And all of a sudden, they're like, what? Ah, bruh, this place is toxic. I'm going to be out. Because they're not used to this energy, this type of language that we use. You know, or you're going to a space and you're used to, you know, kumbala. And all of a sudden, guys are coming through. Well done, gentlemen. That was a very great session. You know, give yourselves a pat on the back. It works in certain spaces. It might not work in certain spaces. And again, it's very much deeper than that. Because it's not just the language in which you speak to people. It's most importantly the language that you speak to yourself. You know, constantly, constantly telling you that you can't do this, you can't do that. Oh, I'm not a morning person. You're not a morning person. Who the fuck told you you ain't a morning person? Sleep earlier. You'll see you'll wake up earlier. You'll get into a routine and all of a sudden, you'll become a morning person. Oh no, our family, we've never had six packs. Put down the fork. More spinach. Drink more water. Get your ass to gym. Do two sessions a day for 100 days. Eat half of what you're currently eating right now. Then tell me about the language of I can't. No, stop telling yourself this. Stop telling yourself constantly the words, oh, I'm not that pretty. Oh, I'm not that fast. Oh, I'm not that this. Oh, I'm not that smart. Oh, I'm not that. No, change your language. Change the language that you speak to yourself. Breed life into yourself. Breed life into yourself. Obviously, there'll be challenges. There's always challenges. Sharp. There's a challenge, but I'm bigger than that challenge. I know I'm bigger than that challenge. Let's sit down. Let's brainstorm how to get to where I need to get. So there's the goal. Here I'm at right now. How am I going to get to the goal? Okay. Let me get a mentor. Let me get some YouTube. Let me get this. Let me get that. Let's get some knowledge base, you know, and then let's see if we can apply that knowledge applied is wisdom to get to where I need to get. But instead of just, no, I can't, no, I don't have money. I'm always broke. Stop speaking to yourself like that. Stop talking to yourself in, in a scarcity type of mindset. You know, always there's abundance. I've got abundance. I've got abundance. Make sure your daily affirmations are always about abundance. They're always about growth. They're all about bettering yourself constantly, constantly. I'm on a journey to become better. So I'm better today than I was yesterday. And tomorrow I'll be better. And I'm always growing. And we're always growing together. And bro, here at gym, we hear about growth. And here at work, we're all about growth. And where you were yesterday is not where you are today. You've learned this thing, right? Yes, we had a hard conversation about it yesterday because we feel like we have dropped the ball as a team. But now we've learned and we've grown better. You know, will we make mistakes? Of course we'll make mistakes. But again, we'll fix them and we become better as a team. We become better as individuals. The language in which we speak to one another, the language that we speak to ourselves, to ourselves, guys, the language in which you speak to your partner, you know, if your if your partner says, "Oh, baby, I'm I'm gaining a bit of weight," you say, "Baby, where?" We are born with two feet, we talk. born with two feet, you check. You say, "Baby, where did you gain weight, my baby? Where is this weight?" Hmm. And you can see with your okay, sharp knee budget. Then a sister, you don't have to say, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, my baby, you've gained weight." If she's that type of lady that wants that hard, straight up talk, baby, say this, and you've earned the right to be that type of guy in that relationship or that type of lady within that relationship, whatever the case may be, then sharp. That's the language that works for you guys and that's not a language that will break you down, then perfect. Some of us be like, as hey, baby, um, as there's certain things that stress me, please can you just take a walk? I just want to talk about them. Lapuna manga. The walk is for her and her fat ass. But you frame it in such a way that she feels that the walk is about you and you just take a walk for an hour and just talk about work things, pop things. Yeah, at work, as he, ish, there's this guy and there's and he's talking to me and then the client, and you're walking for an hour. 
and you come back and you're like, yo, baby, I feel so much lighter. Thank you so much for allowing me to vent. Lapo, it wasn't even about the vent. It was about her walking. It was about her walking. Lapo, she's like, oh, baby, please, can you come back with my Doritos? Uh, uh, uh. We're like, ah, baby. I searched everywhere. I was at Pick and Pay. I was at Spa. I was, there's a Doritos. I can't find them Doritos. Lapo, he asked me, yeah, I can't find my Doritos, shame. But the language, you're not going to break her down. You're not going to break her down. If you know, Guti, your friend's breath stunk. You know, people are like, mm, your breath stunk. You know, you must you must just be like, as in Khalilu Chapis. I don't know Chapis. I don't know Chapis, guys. In Khalilu Chapis. And then you're like, I mean, Chapis. The language, you don't need to break them down. If they're that person that needs to, because I'm that guy. I want you to be straight and honest with me. I want you to be like, hey, Pinson, bro. Why your breath smell like ass? I, I, I prefer that if if we have a relationship. If I don't know you, shut the fuck up, keep it moving. But if you my boy, if you my colleague, and we have that mutual respect, I need that straight up honesty. If we're in a relationship, you need to be open and honest from get. You need to pull that bandage off quick. You need to use the right words, the right time. Tragedy. Pens and sit down, I've got bad news. One, two, three, four. That's the language that I prefer. Those are the words that I need. Even with myself. Okay, come on, boy. Let's wake up. Let's go get it. Let's get this money. Let's get this growth. Let's develop. Spend time with the kids. Spend time with your loved ones. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. That's my language. But people are different. Some people, like the two gym guys today, come on, stop being a bitch. They need that. They need that. Some guys need, come on, bro. You've got this. I know within you, there's all the strength. Some people say, oh, since you're looking good, have you been, uh, uh. They need that to build them. But just be very aware of the language be aware of the language when you speak to your fucking partner breathe life into your partner stop telling your partner oh, did you see that relationship there's that doing it did you see ban bunny's boyfriend that you are breaking him with your words stop breaking her stop breaking him try and make sure what your words are all about growth if you guys were to break up tomorrow will she be a better person because of your existence and the words that you spoke into her or will she be worse off will she be more insecure will she be fucking uh having to deal with trauma just your words of you calling her not smart of you calling her fat of you calling her dumb of you calling her what words did you breathe in what life did you breathe into her or him is he not constantly insecure because he's now knows good he's not the boyfriend and spun bunny is he's not the partner that spun bunny is he's not as good looking as spun bunny he's not as bad as one man he doesn't have the car that's one man he doesn't have the bottle money blah, 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 blah. what did you breathe into him if you guys were to break up today and he looks back will it be he like yes sis, that sister actually spoke life into me sit down speak to your person talk to your kids what is it that you're saying to your kids my mother used to lie out of her teeth to us. Here's the thing about the way that she used to tell it. My mom used to genuinely believe the things that she used to say. If like, if I get a 60, my mom used to be like, um, no, it's the teacher uh, or you didn't study uh, or it's because we don't have the right textbook. She, she was like, you as a pencil have the potential, as a Toby, have the potential to get 90s. So that's all she spoke into me. Me, I can do 90s. Me, if I had the right textbook, 90s, 90s. Okay, so my priming is, I just can get 90s. Now I've got the right textbook, now I've got the right teacher, now I've got the right thing, 90. My mom, like, even if I lost the race, she'd be like, ah, oh, it's the shoes. Yes, it teaches you to, it's the, the negative side of it. The negative side of it is that you start lacking accountability and responsibility. I get that. That's the flip side. That's the negative side, sure. But at the same time, it was constantly, I can do this. I can do this. And my mom always said, Toby, you can. Toby, you can. Lunga, you can. Lunga, Lunga, so you can. You can, you can. And she constantly fucking pumped that energy into us to a point where you start believing it. Yeah, when are you can be this. Yeah, when are you... Toby, you could build a rocket with your bare hands using whatever's in the kitchen. Of course. Move to Mars tomorrow. You can. You just need to apply yourself. So I always had that thing of, yeah, I can. Manga, tata, eating stuff, lang, lang, and eating, fagane, abon. Open a court gate and clang and Tim Rocket, we can go. And that mindset with the power of words, I grew up like that. So with my kids, I'm constantly, Donna, you can, Donna, you can, Donna, you can, Donna, you can, of course you can. You know, whenever they use a huge accomplishment at school, I go, Yeah, I knew that. I knew that. You're so amazing. Of course you could. Of course you could come first. I knew that. I knew that. 
and you breathe life into them and you watch your partner if your partner does something amazing like, oh baby come on stand easy for you you can do that i know you can you breathe life when you look at yourself at work at what what you breathe life into yourself into your colleagues you tell your colleagues hey you're just so nice don't also cross the lines but still breathe life into them breathe life into others breathe life into yourself guys anyway have yourselves a fantastic day i just wanted to just chat about that the power of words shop guys